Hello Zebrahead and welcome back to Plants vs Zombies and today we are going to continue on with mini games. Of course we did the first five in the last episode. We'll be doing at least another five this episode. It did take us a good while to get through them last time, like 30, 40 minutes. So for right now our goal is to do five an episode. But before we do, we do have the Zen Garden where we can water up some of these plants. Now as you can see, I did do some of it, some of the uh, plant caring uh, off camera just because it also earned up me a couple thousand coins. We're at 15,000 right now. So I'm gonna focus on this, try to water these guys as much as we can. And then after I water a good chunk of these guys, I might buy some more if we can. It depends. I can, awesome. I think that they're only available once every 24 hours is the thing. So uh, we, we just have to make sure we do that once a day. I'm seeing how I'm not you know, recording one video a day. I usually try to do multiple a day. I'll have to keep it in mind for my own sake. But <laughs> yeah, that's the goal is that, you know, try to buy a couple more each day. And we're a little low on cash, but we'll eventually end up paying out more. Like these guys up here, they're technically good to be sold as far as I understand. Um, I might as well fill them up a little bit more if they're gonna give me a couple more coins. There's a thousand right there. Cause how much are they each? 2,500? Yes. Yeah, so when they give you that diamond, they're already paying you back a good chunk of that. Only 1,500 left. So I don't have, oh, I don't have the music thing. So I can't really do that for them. But in the meantime, I can get diamonds from these guys. Uh, so like I could sell these guys as they are. And as you can see, it's 3,000. How, how much is the music player? 15,000, can't quite afford it. So what I might do is just fill some of that up. And then maybe I could leave it at that. I could sell one of them, but I still want to be at the 15,000. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll just leave it how it is. Uh, we'll keep watering you. I don't have enough of the uh, plant food, so I'll fix that up right there. And make you happy. There you go, there's another coin. So we're definitely, we spent some money, but we made some back. And overall, you are making more than you lose with this, especially if you manage it and you get more and more things unlocked over time. But with all that being said, we are good to move on with more mini games today, starting with Invisigool. This sounds interesting. I'm going to have to imagine that all the zombies are invisible. Looks like it. <laughs> Luckily, it's a conveyor belt level, so that shouldn't be too bad. But we start with the pea shooter. Uh, the hard part about that is you just really don't know where any of them are. You just sort of have to guesstimate. And your best bet is just to sort of get all of your lanes covered. Luckily, you, you will be able to hear them splash in the water when they do enter the water lane from what I remember, so that'll be a benefit. Sort of like the final level of World 4 when everything is dark and it's storming. The only way you really know where some of the zombies are is by hearing those footsteps and hearing if they enter the water. There is a zombie right here. I don't know if he's gonna get beat out by the pea shooter or not. I mean, it sounds like it's a cone head. I'm getting a little worried. If I hear him start eating this pea shooter. Oh, okay, yep, use a squash, use a squash. Yeah, it was a cone head. How tricky is that? The first zombie they give you is a cone head. That's a little ridiculous, I gotta be honest. You can sometimes tell by the sound the pea, sh the pea makes when it hits the zombie. Uh, luckily, we had the squash there. If not, I would have had to use the ice room, which it's sort of bad to use an ice room against one zombie. Okay, so we're doing all right so far. But if we could get more pea shooters, that'd be good. Cause I need one on this bottom, second to bottom lane. Uh. Oh yeah, that was a cone head. You can see the cone fall off of them, oddly enough. So luckily there's, okay, there was one here. Oh my, oh my, that's a problem. He was very close. And when you freeze them, you're able to see where they all are. Okay. No, oh, come on. I want to freeze you again. That is so tough. Okay, so we did get rid of that one on that lane. Now that guy was about to hit my lawnmower too. And now you can see where the peas are ending, so that sort of helps as well. But man, it is not easy. I'm gonna put a, uh, I, I really shouldn't, I should wait. See how things go, there's a coin, cool. <laughs> Making more money that way as well. So this is a really, really difficult mini game so far. Oh, this guy's right here, we need to go ahead and do this. Leave that pea shooter alone. I'll put that there, but we also need to freeze. Man, that is so tough. And I need to start getting stuff in the water lane. I don't see how I'm gonna be able to do that anytime soon. I might have to use the squash. Yep, because he just got rid of his uh, cone. 
but I need stuff in that water lane. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this guy here, just in case they're starting to pop up. Oh, good timing. They just were about to hit the water. There it is. I couldn't have done that any better. Oh, there's a bucket head right here. We're gonna go ahead and squash him. You can tell once again by using the audio cues. It makes a little ding noise whenever the uh, pee hits a bucket head's bucket, I suppose. Um, when it comes to the cone heads, it makes more of like a, like a donk noise. Hard to describe. Okay, there's one down there. Oh my gosh. So that one was a cone head there. You might have seen. I'm like using all of my plants though, and there's a huge wave coming up soon, which is a big problemo. I'm gonna put a walnut right there. It'll help, that's for sure. Oh, got me a coin. Hmm. It's just crazy how many cone heads they throw you right at the beginning. Like that's insanity. Got rid of that zombie, that's good. But of course, you know, the pun invisigool instead of invisible. They are ghouls, are they? I guess so. Okay, so we did get rid of that zombie in the bottom water lane. So finally, we're starting to get two pea shooters per lane. It's getting there. Our first huge wave is coming in. For better or for worse. <laughs> this is a very cool mini game, but also so difficult. I'm hoping for more firepower. If we could get like a torchwood or something, that'd be great. Where's the bucket at? I think it's up here on the top. That's good. Yeah, I think he's in the top lane. Ready, donk, donk. Yep, that's him on the top lane then. You can just sort of time the, the peas. So I don't think I wanna freeze anybody right now if I can manage. I'm just gonna have like a, a sea of lily pads in the pool, because why not? Oh no, he's actually eating them. Stop it, stop it, you monster. Okay, I might have to freeze some of these guys. That should help a little bit. Yeah, there's actually somebody behind the bucket head, so. It's worth our while to be doing what we're doing and then put you here. Okay, this is probably gonna be our toughest mini game of the day. I really hope we can survive it. They're starting to eat through, oh no. Where's the Zamboni? We don't have anything to do against that because of a freezing shroom? Oh, it's right there. Okay, here we go, the squash, the squash. Because a freezing shroom, what is it called, an ice shroom? What would do anything against a Zamboni? Oh no, oh no, I still need to use this then. Here, I'm put it, putting it here. Oh no, no, no. Uh, I'm gonna freeze. I don't know what is over here, but I don't know if I wanna use the squash against it just yet. Come on, come on. I think I have to. I think I have to. Oh, this is so tough. I'm just glad there's not another Zamboni just yet. Okay, we get another pea shooter. Interesting. Guess I'll put him there for now. Oh, this is so difficult. What am I supposed to do about all this? I'm gonna put a walnut there. That'll be a little bit more protective for that lane. Oh no, not another one. I need another squash. This just never ends. I'll put him here. Come on, and, he ha and we have to get through this zombie right now before we can even get to the Zamboni, and there's another one apparently. But I'm pretty sure this won't freeze him. It won't. He's gonna keep moving. No. Oh gosh, no, he's squishing everything. No, 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 no. Please stop, please stop. Oh, come on. Come on, can I freeze, can I freeze? It wouldn't be worth it. Oh, he's gonna run over that walnut too. That's, oh, I need a squash, I need a squash. They're squashing my plants, because I don't got a squash. Come on, come on. No, that's not gonna help. Oh, that lane is done for. That lane is straight up done for. And there was only one zombie I froze with. Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, oh, come on, I tried to save at least one pea shooter there. Should have just saved it for the other lane. I wonder if he could butter the uh, thing. And I don't know if this ice ever goes away without a jalapeno, which is also awful. Come on, come on. I don't know even know where I want to put this. I mean, he's gonna eat through that pea shooter, or maybe he's not. Okay, that's fine. Jeez Louise, what the heck? I don't remember it being this difficult. I gotta be honest. He's gonna he's gonna eat the pool thing. Oh, that's a shame. Luckily, he gets rid of a zombie that way. What in the world can you do about this? I don't know. This might actually be our first time having to take a second attempt of anything in the game so far. Hmm. That's really tough. Okay. I might be able to survive this, but we have a huge wave coming soon. Whoa! I forgot about that bottom lane. There were a bunch of zombies there, too. I need to pull like a squash here. 
just as some extra protection. That's bad. I need to make sure that that, uh, this is so difficult. I need to make sure that top water lane and the very bottom lane are both very protected as much as I possibly can make it. Because those are the two lanes that are, uh, vulnerable right now. Is there nobody on the bottom lane? Huh, that's lucky. Because this is the last row of zombies right now, so if we can somehow make them survive this as soon as you eat that walnut, I am going to squish you. Come on, come on, do it. See what happens, see what happens. And then we're gonna put another walnut there. <laughs> you're no way you're getting through all that. Because I don't care what happens to the rest of the lanes as long as the very bottom and the top water lane are fine. Because that means, of course, that, uh, no, we'll be fine. Because the other stuff will just hit the uh, lawn mowers or pool cleaners. Yeah, there's no way we're getting through this dude's bucket head. I don't think so. Or maybe we will? Uh, there we go. I mean, maybe I'm just sort of drawing out the inevitable by doing this. <laughs> maybe I should just go ahead and let him get eaten by the pool. Uh, no I don't, I don't, yeah, got it. Okay, so we got a diamond for that. We did it on the first try miraculously. Wow, that was really risky. Um, but yeah, for that we get a trophy and of course another mini game unlocked, which is super duper exciting. And we get Seeing Stars is our next one. This one's tough, I remember this one. This one's not easy. As you can see, it's a collection of zombies, uh, no specific kind. Except, oh, I mean, I guess there are specific kinds, but nothing specifically interesting, cone heads, bucket heads, and then a mandatory star fruit. Well, that's not mandatory, but you can't complete the level without it, so you you better use it. Um, and then for everything else, we'll go ahead and do some potato mines. I could do something like that, make sure it's very protected. I feel like if I had enough money, I would definitely, I mean, I do have enough money for this. Maybe it's something we could try today's episode. Huh, the twin sunflower. It would be helpful in this situation, put these on your on your sunflowers to turn them into twin sunflowers. Twin sunflowers give twice as much sun as a sunflower. Let's go ahead and do it, I think it'd be fun. Um, so we, there's our first upgrade to a plant, and it's gonna be super helpful. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that so they're all next to each other and makes it a little bit more aligned. Okay, I have enough for one more. Maybe some spike weeds or something. Works for me. Yeah, I guess it's fine. I mean, the only thing I would think about instead of that, maybe I could, no, that'd be too clutter. Like if I were to do coffee, bean, and magnet shroom. I think that will be just fine. So as you can see, there are these translucent Star fruits all over the place, and as it says, fill in all the outline spaces with star fruits. You need to make a star out of the star fruit, and that's not gonna be easy at first, so. Yeah, we can put other plants over it. No, we can't, you can only place, okay, that's that's really, that makes it even more difficult because we have less landscape to work with. So we're just gonna have to be ready for when these zombies pop up. It'll go on forever and ever until we do it, so let's try to get a lot of sunflowers out. But this is where the twin sunflower is really helpful because it's gonna be like having two sunflowers in one space. And that's really helpful because then we don't have to put out as many sunflowers. They are expensive, but they, they eventually pay themselves forward, of course. And having a lot of them is what's really going to be effective. So at first it's going to be tough because only one or two star fruit really isn't too helpful. But when you have four, five, six star fruits all over the place, that's when it becomes really, really effective. So that's what we're gonna be trying for. I'm gonna put a potato mine there. And I'm just gonna try to earn up more sunflowers for now. I can put on my first thing, but I think I'm gonna wait just a moment. There we go. There we go, there's our first of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14? Unless I miscounted, but I don't think I did. 14 or 15. Still, that's a lot. That's a lot of star fruits we gotta put down. That's why it's good to have a lot of sunflowers. Where the twin sunflower will be helpful. I've been trying to make sure, you know, we start showcasing one of these fusion plants sooner or later. Or fusion, I guess, upgrade plants. And now's a good time. So there we go. Twin sunflower up the, up the top. It does look a little creepy in my opinion. I've always thought that. But I do also think it's cool and helpful. So I appreciate it. Now the twin sunflower is not a flower that shows up too much in other PvZ games. Of course it's in PvZ 2. And it's in PvZ Heroes, you know, and it does the same thing. It makes two sun at the beginning of your turn there. I'm gonna go ahead and put a star fruit there. And then I have enough for another one. It's just a matter of if we can last. I'll put a tauna there. And then another star fruit right about there. These are only brown coats. So you think we'd be able to give them a good run for the money as long as we can line everything up just right. 
Hmm. Put another star for here. Yeah, we should be able to get rid of him with all of this. He's already getting pretty beat up from it, so that's pretty good. Come on, come on. Okay, so this is where I'm a little worried. I think I might go ahead and put a potato mine there, and then another twin sunflower. That'll be pretty good. But the only problem here is that nothing is hitting that brown coat that's eating away at that that tall nut. So if I can set up somebody that does something, that'd be great. Okay, so there's that done. I'm gonna try doing that, because I need these tall nuts to be wherever I can put them. And I'll put that there, so this guy's at least getting damaged some way. Or taking damage some way. All right, things are going okay. They're not going fabulous or perfect, but they're they're getting there. So is that guy gonna hit this dude? The angling is a little weird with it. Just trying to hit this guy, this cone head. It's, it's just not easy for some reason. Poor Tallnut's getting really beat up because of it. I wanna put a potato mine there. That should be good, I think. I can only hope that this cone head gets dealt with. Okay. Not bad if I could get a little bit more sun. I mean, we're doing pretty well. We already have seven star fruit out. And we're sort of just going on for the long run here. I'm sure a super huge wave might pop up any any time now. So we gotta be worried about that. So getting another one of those sunflowers might be helpful. I don't know if we should be placing more sunflowers, but I'm already spending enough sun as it is. So if I could just focus on this stuff for now, that'd be great. Okay. Yeah, these starfruit are really getting to work now. Once you get a couple of them, it's just tough to get this game mode rolling, and that's why the, the twin sunflower could be really, really helpful. Hmm, and we already have three of them, and they just poop out two sun instead of one, which is great. Okay, so they finally ate through this tall nut which is a shame. Okay, a huge wave of zombies is coming in. I'm gonna put that there. And then if I could just put like a potato mine here preemptively, just as a little bit more production, protection. Hmm, got another one there. Okay, we have three more to go. I mean, unless they eat one of them, which I don't think they will. I think everything's gonna turn out okay. I think we can win this right here. Get this here. I, I bet you we could get these three star fruit out before uh, this walnut, or not, I mean, this bucket had eats through this walnut. Let's find out that's the case. Got one there. You're gonna walk over the potato mine. Perfect. And uh, finally, the last one. So this actually was a pretty easy mission, especially with the twin sunflower. I honestly feel like it'll be more challenging without her. But there we go. And all the f all five of the lawnmowers. So we get a couple extra coins there. Awesome, awesome stuff. Pretty fun one. So now this is one of my favorite mini games. It's Zomb Aquarium. Uh, click on. Click on the tank to feed the zombies. Now, why this might seem familiar, get a thousand sun to pass a level, is because it's actually a huge reference to the pop cap game called Insan Aquarium, which came out a couple years before PVZ. And that's a really fun game. I've actually played through that on camera before, so definitely, if you haven't checked out that series, it's a lot of fun. It's a classic pop cap game. Click to buy more snorkel zombies. And it works a lot like this. Instead of zombies, though, it's fish. And all you gotta do is click to give them food. You can only put out so much food at once. Like right now we can only put out three food at a time, which is a problem because of, you know, that we have more than that many fish, uh, they will go hungry, you know? And they can die just from hunger. So these guys somehow, zombies produce sun, sort of ignoring that part. But it is also funny because it sort of loops around with the fact that Zomboss really likes fish for some reason. Um, that's sort of a thing about his character. Of course, in Garden Warfare, there's the Garden Center map, but in Garden Warfare 2, Zomboss took control of that area and turned it into the Aqua Center, and there's just a whole bunch of different aquariums and fish and stuff. He's always seemed to have a fascination with water life, which I think is a pretty cool trait, but it's just sort of a weird specification. So yeah, these guys are pooping out sun like crazy. I'm gonna keep spending it on these guys. And I really don't need too many than, than this. Like, that's sort of the thing, is that if you have enough patience, you could actually win this with one or two of these guys. Like, you start with two of them, you could win the game just like that and feed them over and over, but it takes forever. So having more of them can be helpful. But then you have to make sure you're feeding them competently. Honestly, it's probably the easiest mini game, because all you're really doing is feeding these things. It doesn't really work the same way Insane Aquarium does, where there's sort of a risk. Um, and in San Aquarium, of course, there are aliens that can pop up and try to eat your fish, and that's sort of the big risk, is you're earning up all these fish, hoping they don't get all eaten away. It'd be so cool if like there was an alien that looked like the chomper that would pop up and eat your zombies, but that doesn't happen. Like, we're already halfway through this minigame. So I think it's a fun minigame by concept, but unfortunately it doesn't live up to 
as good as it possibly could have been. It could have been a little bit more fun and engaging, but instead it's sort of just really bare bones. And that's fine. You know, not every mini game is gonna be perfect. This one's just a little bit hit and miss. I do like the uh, the tombstones and the skull in the uh, aquarium. That's pretty cool. We are so close to winning already. Almost there. Okay, this guy's hungry. Come on, eat, eat, eat. You could tell because he was turning green. I mean, luckily, I don't think most things turn green when they eat or when they're hungry. I know I don't. And we won. Okay, and that's it. Like I said, one of the easiest mini games. <laughs> but hey, I'll take it. A win is a win, you've unlocked a new mini game. So, we have a new one right here, it is Begooled Twist. So it's like Begooled, but a little bit different. I don't know why the icon for it's a little like darkened, maybe because it's just nighttime. All right. So this mini game is based off of another Bejeweled game called Bejeweled Twist. So with Bejeweled Twist, you don't match things up by swapping, instead you do it by spinning, as you can see. I am not very good at this. I try my best, and we're getting really, 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 really lucky. Holy cow. Um, That was awesome. Let me go ahead and buy some stuff while I can. It is so weird, because it's just about match making matches like that. And a lot of the time, it isn't easy. But I'm doing okay right now. Maybe today it'll just make sense for me. Okay, that worked. Not the way I was expecting it to. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're getting really lucky right now. It's fantastic. And remember, we still gotta upgrade these guys. Because if it's just one turn, it won't work. You need to be like multiple turns in a weird way. It really just, no possible move. Okay, so I, oh, I do. No, no, no. Okay, I was gonna say, do I have to pay to redo it? I suppose not. Well, how nice of you, game. Hmm. There we go, we got that. Um, There we go, got that one. And sometimes I'm like so confused by this, I just start clicking random ones. I hate doing that though, it makes me feel like I'm cheating. Okay, that made a match up. Uh, if I can move, no, see like you can only, you can only rotate them clockwise, which makes it even more confusing because, uh, <clears throat> because, you know, sometimes there'll be like one to the left of that. You can't do anything about it. You can do that though. Uh, there we go. There we go. That was pretty good. That was a double right there. Got that. Got that. That was a double right there as well. We're doing really well. And it's like, not even by my own design. I feel like a lot of this is just luck. Usually I have such a hard time with this minigame. It's really nice to not have a hard time with the minigame. There we go. There's one. No possible moves. We solved it again. What do you mean? Okay, yeah, we can't do that one. That one's to the left with the snow peas over there. Got it. Okay, and then I see, hmm. Okay, that worked. Okay, I figure, figure there was something going on with the, the magnet shrooms there, but I can't seem to make a match with it. Which one am I missing? Oh, this is so tricky. This is where I'm like, oh, I'm just pressing random ones. So I guess there was something with the magnet shrooms. Got that one. Oh, definitely that and then this, and then, huh, hard to say. Oh, get that coin. I keep on missing out on the coins because I just, they're so focused on trying to make these matches. We only need to make 20 more. I mean, that's still a lot, but I mean, our first 20 were made really quickly. I don't see any matches. Oh, right here. It, it made it glow for a moment. Like, hey, it's over here, you silly. We'll get that coin. Oh, there we go. Sometimes it's like, I'm so used to normal Bejeweled, it's hard to make sense of it. Hmm. Somehow there's still a match, yep, right there. That is so weird. Oh, uh, right here, no, 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 not quite. There we go, that's what it was. Got that, and then got that. Got that one. This one, get that coin. There, here comes an all-star, oh my. Another magnet room. I mean, I don't know if we should be strategically not trying to one to use, trying to use the magnet shrooms because seeing how they might actually be able to, what's it called? Help me defend against the all-stars. There we go, that's another good one. Oh, this one's tough, got it. Got that coin. We are so close, we need to make four more. Four more is all we need. Oh, it's so hard to tell. So very hard to tell. There we go, there's one. There's another. Hmm. 
Oh, get these coins. Oh, look at all that. I can fix, oh yeah, let me refill that crater. I mean, I have a lot of sun right now. I could spend some of it to get some easier matchups. Hey, that's always an option, and there we go, we did it! Awesome! <clears throat> See, that was pretty good. It wasn't too bad. At first, especially at first, we got really lucky with a good matchup. And then finally, or I guess most likely our last mini game of the day, Big Trouble, Little Zombie. This one's so cute. And of course, we actually did a version of this on the pool levels. Uh, there were some tiny zombies we had to defend against. Um, just like, you know, how we've tackled some of the wacka zombie and pool, or not pool zombies, but uh, walnut bowling things in the story mode, sometimes you just run into them here. So this is not gonna be easy. These mini zombie ones are always tough. I'm trying to make sure they all bunch up as much as possible so we can hit them with a cherry bomb. So I could slow this guy down a little bit. Okay, I wanna put this guy here. Put a walnut there. See if I can't get a bunch of them all, well, bunched up like this. Okay, that's pretty good. So cherry bomb that, and then cherry bomb this. Pretty good, strategic cherry bombing. And that's sort of the tough thing, is that some of these zombies, they move really quick for their size and they still eat really quickly. So, I mean, they take less damage. Also, I just noticed that my walnuts were not aligned. That's okay, we'll make it work. Oh gosh, we got some water zombies as well. Oh, that, that got rid of them though. Uh, I don't know if I should, but this, this walnut's really taking a beating. Come on, ready, got it. That was a pretty good radius right there. That's why I probably should have moved the walnuts closer. Hmm. Okay, so another lily pad. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and then put this there, and then I guess put this guy here. That works. Okay, so here's our first huge wave, and I don't feel anywhere near prepared. I mean, now we're getting more cherry bombs. That does make me a little bit more prepared. Come on right now. That was pretty good. And then I'm waiting for this guy to catch up. Oh, there's more coming. Boom. That could have gone a little bit more, to be honest with you. And then I think we'll do our first double pea shooter lane right here with the all-star. The snorkel zombies are not gonna be fun to deal with. So I might need, I need another walnut. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a major mistake. I mean, a lot of these walnuts are taking a bit of a beating as it is. There's two all-stars here, I have to do this. There we go. And I guess I'll put the walnut there. I feel like that's gonna be silly. I'm gonna regret that. We'll find out. <laughs> It's so crazy, there's so many of them. We got another huge wave coming up soon. There we go. So I wanna hold on to this cherry bomb if I can manage. This definitely is like the story mode version, but like worse, harder to manage. There's more stuff going on. Okay, so we've gotten two pea shooters in every ground lane. Might as well put another one there. Oh, I don't wanna use the cherry bombs just yet. I need another walnut though. As soon as I can get one, like I might just have to uh, put a third pea shooter there instead of on that water lane. But at the same time, they're about to eat up all of that. It's crazy. It just doesn't stop. Okay, so we got that, that's pretty cool. But yeah, let me know if there's any specific upgraded plant you want me to showcase. Of course, I'm gonna be showcasing all of the plants, so sooner or later, I'll get to all of them, but if there's one thing you want me to showcase over the other, I'm probably just gonna do it as you know situations arise, because after we're done the main mini games, you know, we're gonna move on to the puzzles, where with a lot of the puzzles, you don't get to choose. Yeah, I don't think any of the puzzles, you get to choose your plants. But then, with the survival, we'll be able to choose all of our plants, so that'll be nice and helpful. I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, but if I could just, Oh gosh, here comes that all-star. He's coming for us, but he won't catch up. So many all-stars too, it's like, why so many? Why so many? You can't just give me more like cone heads? That'd be nicer. But yeah, when we do survival, that'll give us a chance to try out even more new plants and more strategies and stuff, so keep all that kind of stuff coming. I know a lot of you have been awesome with giving me advice and strategies on stuff you do, especially um, a lot of survival stuff. So that's been really cool to read and hear from you guys. And I can't wait to talk about all that once we start doing the survival episodes. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this here, but I do have to hold on a tiny bit more if I can manage. Okay, um, I might do like a second layer of walnuts just right here, just for a little bit longer. Our pea shooters are doing good. They're doing as well as they can in a situation like this. Okay, so I think they're gonna, oh, they've already eaten through this one, so I do have to replace that. And I'm gonna put another pea shooter here, because that one is looking a little weak. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this, so this is a little bit more symmetrical. 
Sorry, Walnut. Okay, so this is the final huge wave. If we could just find a way to survive it, everything will be great. So I just have to do a matter of timing. We have four cherry bombs. So if I could find a good way just to, ready, set, now. Perfect, ready, set, now. There we go, we got it, boom. Okay, so there's our final mini game of the day. Awesome progress going on there. Four more completed, and we got the showcase to Twin Sunflower. You've unlocked a new mini game. And as you can see, we have a collection of things we'll be doing next round. Can't see it all n yet, but there are some tough ones in there. Some of the most difficult mini games in the game are coming up next episode. I'm not looking forward to it, but we don't have to worry about it now. We can worry about it next episode. You guys are still looking for that music player. I still can't quite afford it, but maybe if I sold one of you, I feel bad doing that, but you know what? It's still 3,000 gold, and that's 500 more than what they cost, so on top of that, you know, all the money they poop out, you know, whenever, I won't have any money left, which will totally stink, but I did want to showcase this. So if we play music for a plant, um, they'll give us some more coins, and instead of growing anymore, they will just be glowing. So instead of growing, they start glowing. I like it. Um, at this rate, they'll just sit here and poop out coins. Um, so if you were just to keep the game open, you could click a bunch of coins. That's where it's helpful to have as many marigolds as possible because you can have a bunch of them and then you can buy a little buddy named uh, Stinky the Snail, that's what he is. Um, you can buy Stinky the Snail and he'll pick up the coins for you. He doesn't do it very quickly, but with another item you get in game, you can feed him th with that and we'll talk about that more when the chance comes. But I wanted to see, these guys sell for more when they're glowing, they don't. All right, well, I'll probably still leave it at that. I'm gonna continue growing this end garden, you know, on camera and off camera, and hopefully we'll run into more fun soon. But that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies. If you watched this video, make sure you comment Twin Zebra so any of you have watched at the end of the You Are A Zebra Task if you are. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye-bye.